Introducing the Petronic F220 Fire Alarm System The Petronic F220 is an AS7240 compliant analog addressable fire alarm system. It is active fire listed and it has been designed specifically for Australian requirements. The F220 delivers real value throughout the life cycle for everyone, installers, consultants and engineers, firefighters, service and maintenance contractors, end users and facility managers. The Petronic F220 is the successor to the Petronic F120A. The F220 has advanced information processing capabilities. An F220 system may have up to 20 analog addressable loops. The F220 has a full range of unwanted alarm management features. It has a large display with color-coded screens and it has a logical keyboard layout with a wide range of remote control and display units. An F220 network with 133 nodes has been independently certified to AS7240 Part 13. Adaptive messaging ensures that the F220 network's response to critical events is not affected by other network traffic. F220 system programming and management is quick and easy with Petronic Fire Utils. Fire Utils also has powerful logging and analysis capabilities. Petronic Fire Map provides a graphic user interface. And an F220 system can also interface with a building management system. The F220 Fire Alarm System has powerful information processing and display capabilities. There is a 32-bit ARM9 RISC microprocessor inside every F220 fire indicator panel, display unit and NET2 network node. Every F220 display unit has a large 7-inch colour screen. The specification shows that the F220 has many times more processing power than our previous fire alarm system, the F120A. The F220 fire alarm system has a very large capacity. It can have up to 20 analog addressable loops, 3,180 detectors, 1,980 input-output modules, manual call points or addressable alarm devices, 999 zones, and each F220 fire alarm panel may have up to 999 network inputs. 400 fire fan controls, 400 deluge controls, 999 cause and effect logic blocks, 50 timers, 999 groups, one or more bi-directional building management system interfaces. The F220 provides a full range of unwanted alarm management features. Alarm verification facility for all detectors. Up to 1,200 alarm acknowledgement facility units or alarm delay facility units per F220 panel and Petronic Fire Map automatically displays a map to make it easy to find the source of an alarm. Let's take a closer look at the F220 7-inch multicolour display. This is easy to read from a distance. The keyboard layout is logical and intuitive, and the F220's display screens provide navigation guidance to help users find the information they need. Here's why the F220 has colour-coded display screens. On this slide, we can see an F220 fire alarm system showing a green display. The green display means the system is normal. And now, even from quite a distance, you can immediately see that this system has an alarm. The colored display screens in the F220 are organized into a hierarchy. The color identifies the type of information being displayed. Information is ranked in order of importance. By default, the F220 automatically displays a summary of the most important information. Now, here's a video showing how easy it is to manage a minor incident using an F220 fire alarm system. This short video will introduce the F220's user-friendly display and keyboard. Let's imagine that two smoke detectors have been accidentally triggered. Even from a distance, it's easy to see where the alarm has come from. And there's no mistaking that second alarm. Screen messages help users find their way around. Now we've confirmed that this is a nuisance alarm. One key press disables the alarms. If we do nothing else, the display defaults to the yellow disablement screen. It's very clear that some devices on this panel have been disabled. 
One key press resets all active alarms. And now we re-enable these two smoke detectors. And now it's clear that this F220 is back to normal with no faults or disablements. Color-coded off-normal screens ensure the panel status is easily visible at a glance. Here's an orange summary screen showing that the highest priority event on this F220 fire alarm panel is a pre-alarm. Large processing power enables the F220 to present information in logical, easy to understand sorted lists. This is the alarm list screen, which presents only the current alarm events, irrespective of how many non-alarm events the panel may have detected. This is the disablement list screen. Notice that the disablement list shows the status of each disabled service. Some are showing alarms, some are faulty, some are normal. The fault list screen makes it easy to deal with large numbers of faults, and even when the detection system has a large number of faults, critical alarm signals in the F220 are not delayed. The F220 has several additional controls. These are not required for compliance with AS7240. We've included them because they simplify testing and maintenance. Petronic Industries supplies a range of remote control and display units for F220 systems. The full function Mimic provides all the control and display features available on the F220's own front panel. The enhanced Mini Mimic provides read-only access to all available information, including the history logs. There is also an Alarm Mini Mimic, which displays only alarms and the warning system on signal. This is designed for use by facility staff who have to respond to a fire alarm. The F220 remote displays may be configured to show information from specific zones or panels, or from the whole system. Here we have a purpose-built control and display unit for an F220 system. This example was specifically designed and built for the F220 network at Capricornia Prison in Queensland. It has a remote full-function network keyboard and display, fire fan controls and deluge controls. Also on this panel you can see detection and fault indicators positioned on a floor plan. Here are some of the features underpinning the high performance of Petronic F220 fire alarm systems. Adaptive messaging in the network prioritizes alarms and important control signals to ensure rapid transmission, even under extreme network load situations. Faults, disablements and other non-alarm events do not degrade the F220's response to critical alarms and control signals. The network is physically configured as a bi-directional ring. A single cable fault anywhere on the ring will not affect system operation. Any link segment may have a fibre optic or copper physical layer. Petronic Fire Utils enables users to work with F220 and Net2 network configuration files. You can also import configuration information into Fire Utils from a spreadsheet or CAD program. Fire Utils can extract history logs and reports from F220 systems. And Fire Utils can control an F220 panel from a connected personal computer. One Fire Utils file may cover multiple F220 panels, some of which may be networked together. Petronic Fire Utils provides matrix-like grids for editing and moving panel and network objects. Fire Utils makes it easy to commission or update an F220 system. Petronic Fire Utils connects to a Net2 network or a standalone F220 panel via a single Ethernet connection. Typically, it takes less than a minute to upload a full configuration for a 34-panel network, and the configuration for a network with 130 nodes can be uploaded from a single point in less than five minutes. The service mode window keeps you up to date with progress. You can extract a range of event logs and reports from an F220 system. Panel configuration summary, network configuration summary, device status, current events, maintenance report. The logs and reports are available in several popular formats, including Excel, Word and PDF. F220 systems have dedicated logs for each type of event. So even if the main all event log fills up with other types of events, you can still get information about the last 2000 alarms from the alarm log. You can use the F220 event logs to simplify system testing or commissioning. For example, the F220 alarm log in the picture shows the result of testing all detectors one at a time. 
When the test is finished, you can easily copy and paste this information into other documents, such as a commissioning report. Petronic Fire Utils is able to extract a maintenance report from F220 systems. The maintenance report provides a list of detectors that need to be cleaned. Another useful tool in Fire Utils is called the Input Output Trace Tool. This tool provides a graphic illustration of all the inputs that are able to trigger a particular item. And here, IO Trace is showing all of that item's outputs. So you can use IO Trace to trace back from any item, and you can use IO Trace to trace forward from any item. Now let's take a look at Petronic Fire Map. This graphic user interface provides real time monitoring and touch screen or mouse and keyboard control of connected fire systems. Fire Map is easy to set up. It has user friendly tools for creating and editing content, such as floor plans, photographs, and other graphic documents. Fire Map uses popular graphic file formats such as JPEG. If a connected fire system detects a fire alarm condition, FireMap automatically displays a floor plan or map with icons showing the location of the source of the fire alarm. FireMap may also be configured to control fire system equipment, such as water deluge or air management systems. Here's a video showing FireMap controlling a water deluge system. This short video will demonstrate Petronic FireMap in operation. We're looking at a fire map system installed in a pair of motorway tunnels. This fire map system is connected to a network of F220 fire alarm control panels monitoring and controlling fire detection and suppression systems. There's also a closed circuit TV system in this complex. The system has detected an alarm signal from detection zone 11058. Fire map automatically loads a map of this part of the tunnel complex. Tunnel operation staff decide to override the automatic water deluge system. Notice that the countdown timer has stopped. FireMap now displays the manual deluge controls. The tunnel operator activates the water deluge and detection zone 11058. FireMap confirms that water is flowing through the deluge pipes in detection zone 11058. The tunnel operator decides to activate the adjacent deluge zone. FireMap confirms that water is flowing in the second deluge zone. Sometime later, tunnel operators use FireMap to shut down the water deluge. The tunnel operator puts FireMap back into automatic deluge mode. Here's a typical FireMap floor plan. Icons on the floor plan identify fire system devices such as detectors and call points. The green lines show the zone boundaries. A zone with an alarm condition has red boundaries. Red icons show devices an alarm. 